Okay, this is an Acer 3002LCI. Okay, um, I'm going to show you how to get to the hard drive and the memory and so on on this one. Now, I'm going to tell you, this is not a user-friendly. Anyway, I, I already removed one screw. This screw is loose. There is no way to get this thing up. So what you need to do is, uh, and I'm going to let you feel the pain here, okay? <laughs> because you have to get that screw up and pull and get your nail underneath to get this thing up. All right, now there's another screw. I'm going to move the camera now. So I, and probably focus if this thing doesn't focus automatically. But I want to show you over on this side and get down nice and close. In back of the hard drive, there is a screw right there that has to be taken out to get the hard drive out. All right, and once again, you might need tweezers or something to get that out. Okay, let me get this back in the same position. And I'm hoping uh, to still get everything in. There we go. All right, so um, so I'm going to take that screw out, and even if it just moves aside, it's not going anywhere. Ah, right, look at that; it's magnetic. I don't like that at all. But luckily, the new drives. If my Oh, it's not doing. I'm not worried about that. Okay, slide this back and pull it up. Okay, keyways right there and right there going down in the back. All right, so this is an ATA hard drive. It's a 80 gig hard drive. So if you're replacing it once again, you want to get at least an 80 gig. It has to be ATA, and I'm telling you right now, you're not going to find it in store. These are obsolete. So you need to go on eBay and look for a new one if you're going to do that. Um, four screws. You do need the small Phillips head to do this. Now what, something I noticed when I turn the laptop over I want to take that screw out while I'm thinking of it. <laughs> um, when a screw is loose on the bottom I know somebody else has been here inside the computer. So um, uh, that worries me sometimes. If, uh, especially if you bring it to a shop and they don't close it all the way up it tells me that hmm just how good that technician is. Once again you got to pull the screw up get your finger underneath and pull up the panel. All right. Um, oh, before you uh, before you mess with the memory and everything, you want to pop the pop the uh, battery out. Almost forgot that. So you don't want power on this thing when you pull that me the memory chips out. This is the memory chip. There's only one in there. It's a 256 uh, megabyte chip. I could probably uh, beef this up for the customer. I have memory chips. I'm going to probably make a YouTube video. I have so many memory chips, it's ridiculous. But you take that out. And you do, this has plastic retainers, which I don't like at all. I like metal ones. Plastic tends to break easy. So, that's, so that's, uh, hold them on the edges. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm grounded. So I can, uh, you know, I can be in here. I have a wire tethered to me and, uh, and grounded to work in this. Push it all the way in. If it's backed out, I'll pull it out again. If you put it in like this, and, the, and the, those are showing, this will push down. And the computer will not boot up, so you need to push it all the way in, get it seated all the way down, get the click. All right, and another one can go right into this bay here. All right, so so uh, this is all your uh, your wireless. That's your uh, chipset, sys uh, chipset. Uh, the BIOS battery, which I don't see in here. I don't see a BIOS battery in here. So it must be under another plate. Let's go investigate. Let me make sure that side is on there. Yep, we got it in the camera. So uh, so uh, I haven't been in here yet. So let's see what's in this side. I don't know if that's part of this. We're exploring now. Exploring can reveal lots of stuff. Okay, let's loosen that guy up. Okay, that's the CPU. There's a CPU under there. Okay, bring that out. We are looking for the BIOS chip, but that's your fan, that's your CPU, that's air cooling. Okay, that's a fan that could probably be blown out because it's dusty. It's nice that you can get to it, but I do not see a battery. That's the speaker for the beep when you hear it uh, boot up. That's uh, quite odd. Every uh, unless it's underneath the CD-ROM drive. 
I, I don't think so. But what happens when you have to change out a battery on this thing? Hmm. Glad I never bought one. <laughs> All right. So, but anyway, that's how you gain access to everything. All right. A nice, uh, nice way to get the access to the fan to clean it out too. So uh, that was a surprise on the video, a plus. So uh, subscribe if you like it. All right. I just wish we could find the BIOS battery on this thing. Don't see it. Hey. Uh, subscribe if you want. Bye. Okay, this is a late entry. I already said uh, subscribe and all that and a goodbye to you. So I'm going to show you something. Okay, um, I'm putting the hard drive back in. All right, and I went to put it down the slot and everything, and it didn't do it. So <laughs> you got to put the back in first. Okay, the keyway. The keyways have to go in. Bring it up, and then bring it down. And there's uh, where the screws go in on the side. Push it all the way down. And grab this and pull it forward and really push it in and that and then just put this uh, screw in the back uh, that that's a that's a little technique that you have to you have to do um, to get that hard drive in like I said not really a user-friendly uh, computer so um, you need to know that subscribe if you want just I uh, had to add this to the video